Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, Dale here. Uh, for this video, I have an HP 17 notebook. Big old older one. <clears throat> Has an AMD processor in it. I've confirmed that the cooling fan inside is shot. Doesn't come on at all, so we're going to put a new cooling fan in it. Um, it's an older one, but like I said, it's AMD, and it's quite dirty on the outside. If that's any indication of what's going on, on the inside, then, you know. <laughs> so I've already taken out all the screws, the main screws, including the one for the CD tray. Um, they're all the same length, so no big deal there. There are some screws under the battery in these little feet here that we have to remove these little hinge cover plates here on each corner. So let's do that. So I'm going to pop out the battery. Get my trusty cordless here. And there's two screws right here. There's one here and then there's one right over here holding this down. Plus there's one underneath. We have to pop these little rubber feet off. Oops, wrong way. I want to do that. So I got a very sharp, thin little tool. I'm going to pull these feet off without damaging them. They usually come off pretty easy. Just like that. You can see there's a, there's a screw underneath here each of these you kind of want to remember where your screws go for for these not too complicated so then we're gonna pop off these little decorative trim pieces here there's a seam right here along the edge here you can if you got a really thin tool like i do you can put that in there <clears throat> and just kind of break it loose like that and you can see it comes right off one piece both sides there's the other one then underneath here, there should be, there's one more screw in the corner right here on each side that we have to get out. Alright, so I'm going to remove the optical drive. Got my little paper clip. I'm going to stick in the little emergency eject hole here. Then we got these two little teeny tiny little screws here that sometimes can be a real pain to get out. You need a very small screwdriver. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Never have enough screwdrivers. Sometimes these things strip really the top. Once you get them broke loose, they come off quite easy. I've even had to drill these out before because they get in there so hard and stripped and like this one. Now that one appears to be stripped out. I don't know if this has been apart before, but there ain't hardly anything thing there to grab a hold of, unfortunately. So, be right back.
I have a couple of small bits here for my quarter inch drill here. You don't have to get brutal with it. Switch to a little bit bigger one. Watch, watch your metal shavings, of course. There. Yeah, I broke that little little guy loose. Don't need that anymore. Didn't make a mess there, so we're good there. We got all of our screws out now. now we're gonna slip it over here and right along the front seam here, where the palm rest meets the bottom pan, where we gotta start separating it. You can use a little spudger tool. I personally like leave my fingernail in there and get it done. This thing is, I noticed on this side over here where the cooling fan vents are that it's slightly damaged here. So it's been busted up here. The little cooling, the, the little vent fins are gone here. A bunch of them are missing, but nothing you can do about that. Except over here is going to be. Sometimes the back here gets a little hung up along underneath the battery here, trying to get that palm rest off. <clears throat> Gotta be gentle. Well, that one actually came up quite easy. So we have three cables under here. We have our touch pad, we have our keyboard, then we got the power switch cable back here. We have to flip up the little levers here. We'll start in the back. Get that one disconnected. Flip the keyboard. And the touch pad. Let me get rid of our palm rest. So you have the three cables here. And of course our cooling pan, oh that thing seized right up. It's definitely toast. So we're going to have to get the motherboard out just to get to our cooling pan. I'm going to disconnect where the battery goes. You got your LCD, LED screen cable here. Back here we have the DC jack charging port cable right here we have to disconnect. Then we have the I.O. port for the USB ports, the SATA cable for your solid state drive they have in here, nice. And then the optical drive cable. And be really careful of our Wi-Fi card here. Love how they put these underneath. So I'm gonna go around and flip all these levers up. Got to flip these little levers up to get these cables released here, just like that. Then we got a speaker here. We got to disconnect. These can be a little tricky sometimes. Don't want to 
uh, gouge your motherboard. There, got that one disconnected. <clears throat> Disconnect the battery cable. And then we got a few screws we're going to release here for the motherboard. Looks like we got one right here in this corner. And we got one over here. Shouldn't take too much to lift this out of here carefully. Another screw right here, right next to the battery connector right there for the motherboard. Leave our Wi-Fi card behind. Oops, gotta do the, here's my tool. Be very careful on these cables. I'm going to disconnect the screen cable here. These are a little tricky sometimes, but that one came out pretty easy. So now I just have to unplug the <clears throat> DC jack there. There we have our motherboard out and there's our crusty fan that's pretty much seized up. See it just there's no pre-spinning there at all. It's frozen up pretty good. So we just have on the bottom side of the motherboard here, of course we have to unplug, we're gonna unplug it from the motherboard here. And there's one screw over here in the corner we're gonna take out. Careful handling the motherboard because you gotta put it back in so it'll work. I'm gonna blow it. You can see this. You can see that, but this is completely blocked with crud. I'm gonna blow all that out, clean it up, make it look real nice so we can get, get, uh, get good airflow. So I'm gonna order a new fan. We're gonna put it back in and basically in reverse and we won't get that warning on the screen anymore from the BIOS saying the cooling fan is bad. So we'll basically put everything back in reverse, being careful with your cables and should have a good cooling AMD HP 17 inch notebook. Appreciate everybody watching and um, by the way, have a great new year and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I'm trying to grow my channel. Appreciate everybody watching, have a super day.